is the PCSRA Radio Network and the Blue Hedgehog TV. We now interrupt your regular scheduled programming for the following sports special. This broadcast is presented by the authority of the International Motorsports Association for the private use of our audience. Any reproduction, rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other disseminations or the use of this broadcast, descriptions or accounts of this show without the express written consent of the International Motorsports Association is prohibited. On the PCSRA Sports Network from Learfield, welcome to the 2022 installment of the IMSA Podcast. Now, live from Yukon, Oklahoma, the voice of the IMSA Podcast, Daniel Voiles. It's 2022, my friends. Welcome to the 2022 season premiere of the IMSA Podcast. I am Daniel Voiles, your host <coughs> of the uh, IMSA Podcast. We are so delighted to have you back uh, for this amazing season as we get set for the greatest week ever. It is the roar before the 24, and we're happy to have you on this Monday. Uh, as of this recording, I'm currently at work, is why I'm recording this on a Sunday as of this recording, but this is today, Monday, uh, January 17th, 2022. So yeah, really excited to be back on this channel, uh, doing this show again. We haven't done this show since November, and there's a lot of news that has happened since we... <clears throat> or last with you back in mid-November after we concluded the 2021 season. So, yeah. Uh, before we get started, I uh, want to go over a few announcements. Um, <clears throat> first off, I want to say that uh, um, I don't know if we're going to have some uh, new people. I have not gotten a um, report if... Uh, Nathan Orm is back on this show or not. If not, then uh, it'll be just me and Zachary Taylor. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's it would be a shame. But if not, he'll be our producer for this show <clears throat> moving forward. So, uh, Nathan Orman, you can let me know in the comments section about if you're joining us for the season of IMSA Podcast or if you're just going to do, like, what we did on Triple P which is coming up next Friday. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Hope you guys are off to a great start to your Monday. Uh, I don't know how I will be feeling as of uh, while I'm at work, but uh, you'll find out um, on Thursday when you get the new episode of the Movie Express. Speaking of the Movie Express, that will be this Thursday. <clears throat> Uh, live stream time TBA as far as that is concerned. Um, I don't know what time uh, it will be, but it will be on Thursday. But like I said, time TBA. <clears throat> so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, if it's a late night, if I don't feel like doing it, I'll do it on Friday and just say that this will be right before we do triple P. Um <clears throat> so, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, so, yeah. Alright, with that being said, after I clear up these notifications, uh, as far as that's concerned, let's get you caught up on the IMSA news since we were last with you back in November. Um, so we have a lot of news that has gone down, like I said, since we were last uh, with you, of course, this month is, of course, the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Uh, that will be next week. We'll preview uh, next week's show as far as that's concerned. It will probably be another um, recording session like this. And, uh, yeah. If you also notice, uh, we're back into my room. Uh, since we were last with you, I got new Wi-Fi, in which last time Wi-Fi had, pro I had some problems uploading videos on... The old Wi-Fi, we'll see how the uploading will do on the new Wi-Fi that we just got. And also we've had 
uh, a female house manager um, also since I last spoke to you about a month ago when we closed Triple P. So there you go. All right, let's get into the IMSA news. I know there's a lot of news you guys need to get caught up on, or if you missed all the news, let's get you filled in on what has happened since our last uh, show. Um, we, of course, talked about... <clears throat> We've talked about a lot of things that has happened. Uh, Oliver Jarvis uh, in the 60. Tom Bloomquist will compete in the 2022 full season in the number 60 Acura, as far as that's concerned. Elio Castroneves will be a IMSA, IMSA endurance driver uh, for all the endurance races, including this month's Rolex 24 which there is a record 61 cars that will be there for the Roar before the 24 and also for the Rolex 24 at Daytona, the biggest field since 2014, ever since uh, Grand M and American Le Mans series merged to what is now IMSA. Um, to other news, uh, to the news back in December. Uh, Magnus Racing has switched to Aston Martin for the Michelin Endurance Cup efforts in 2022. The John Potter owned team confirmed on uh, confirmed that it will be getting the band back together with a program understanding to be independently run after previous operation support from our channel Motorsports and Gracio Racing team back in last last season and in 2020 respectively. Um. They already split after the Petit Le Mans in 2021. The move to Aston marks Magnus' fourth different GT3 model in the last five years in the GT Daytona class of the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship <coughs> as far as that is concerned. So there you go. Uh, we talked about a new class. Uh, Corvette Racing confirmed it will field a second Chevy Corvette C8.R at this year's Rolex 24 Daytona with Mark Sorensen making his debut with the Factory Pratt and Miller Run squad. The Aston Martin Racing Factory driver jo will join Endur World Endurance Champion co-driver Tommy Miller and Nick Tandy in the number four alongside the previous announced Antonio Garcia, Jordan Taylor, and Nikki Katzberg that will run for the full WeatherTech entry. So the four car is going to be like a second car for uh, endurance races, including this month's Rolex 24. So uh, we wish them, as far as that's concerned. It is also, uh, also Alexander Sims uh, has a GM contract for the French endurance chassis uh, back last year for the 24 hours of Le Mans. So there you go. So, yeah. Juan Pablo Montoya and his son Sebastian will contest the Sebring 12 Hours together this year with Dragon Speed. So, uh, best of luck. That will be the first father-son team, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the Montoya fans. So, there you go. United Autosports has finalized its six-man driver for this year's uh, World Endurance Championship with the signing of Alex Lynn. This is also some World Endurance news. Uh, who drove the team at last year's 24 Hours of Le Mans. Uh, of course, Lynn raced this past year in in Formula E, but is returning to sports cars full-time this year. Uh, he is confirmed as part of Chip Ganassi's full-time Cadillac DPI crew for the next IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship season, which is uh, really exciting, which he will make his uh, debut. Um, he has been confirmed. He will be uh, joining forces. He joined Unite for Le Mans, and he finished fourth last season alongside Paul DeRester and Wayne Boyd. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be a full-time driver in that regard. Uh, Pat, uh, Faf Motorsports has confirmed... Porsche representative in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Guard Championship's new GT Daytona Pro category for this year with Matt Campbell and Matthew Jemet forming the full season driving pairing. 
Uh, the Canadian squad will field a single Porsche in GT3R in the new class, replacing GT Le Mans. Felipe Nazar, who has been signed to Porsche as factory driver ahead of his LMDH drive next year, will join Campbell and Jeanette for the four Michelin Dirt Cup rounds at the Rolex 24 Daytona, the 12 hours of Sebring, the six hours of the Glen, and the Petit Le Mans at Michelin Raceway in Road Atlanta. Path Motorsports won uh, the GT Daytona title last year with Lawrence Van der Ruth and Zachary Robichon sharing the number nine Porsche full time. So, definitely looking forward to seeing how the, that team will go in that season. More news uh, in LMP3. Gar Robertson will seek to defend his L his IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship LMP3 title with Riley Motorsports in 2022. Uh, he, which the number 74 Linger GSP320 Nissan will continue in the series with Robertson returning alongside Fragra, Felipe Fragra, who was co driver last season. Fragra missed the opening two races but plans to tackle the full L LMP3 campaign this time around. Their driving partners for the Rolex 24 at Daytona season opener will be Porsche Carrera Cup North America presented by the Cayman Islands runner-up K. Van Ber Berlo and SRO America title winner Michael Cooper. Uh, Riley has not determined who will join Fragra and Robertson for the other Michelin Endurance Cup races, so that's going to be good. They are also the defending champions of the Rolex 24, so we'll have to wait and see how that will play out. Uh, Coop WeatherTech Racing will field a Porsche 911 GT3R and a Mercedes AMG gt 30 in the new for 2022 GT Daytona Pro Class at this month's Rolex 24. Uh, the team announced Cooper McNeil will pilot both entries, which will be run by Proton Competition, the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship season opener. Mercedes AMG factory drivers Mario Angel, Jules Gondon, and Daniel uh, Junsadella will join McNeil in the number 97 Mercedes, while Porsche factory ace Julian Enlauer will join by Porsche affiliate driver Matteo Corolli and Alessio. Carrelio in the number 79 Porsche. And Lauder and McNeil will contest the full GTD Pro season in the 79 Porsche, meanwhile. Um, so that will be something looking forward to. Also, to note for McNeil, he's trying to win the uh, Endurance Crown. He's won at Sebring, he's won the Petit Le Mans, he's been on the podium at Le Mans. And he would like to win the Rolex 24 this year. We'll just have to wait and see how that will go in that regard. Got some notifications before uh, we resume the IMSA news. Uh, so getting that taken care of. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes. Um... I was on, oh, here it is. Uh, here we go. Next news. Uh, Simon Pagino has been confirmed as the fourth and final driver in Meyer Shank Racing's lineup for the Rolex 24 Daytona. The Frenchman, who has joined the Ohio-based team as part of his expansion two-car NTT IndyCar Series effort this year, will team up with full-season drivers Oliver Jarvis and Tom Bloomquist, as well as IndyCar stalemate Elio Castroneves. And the number 60 for the season opener. Mark Pagino's eighth start in the Rolex 24. So really a team I could see possibly uh, as far as that's concerned. Um, the team longtime Rolex 24 driver AJ Allmendinger will not be part of MSR's lineup for the race after a contesting event in 15 of the last 16 years. So we'll just have to wait and see how that will go. Townsend Bell will compete the lineup in Vassar Sullivan's GTD Class Lexus RCF GT3 for this year's Rolex 24 Daytona. Bell, who has set for his fourth consecutive race appearance with the team, will join full season drivers Aaron Telez and Frankie Montecalvo, plus Michelin Endurance Cup driver Richard Heinstein in the number 12 Lexus. He will pull 
he will once again pull double duty, both driving and commenting for the NBC broadcast of the Roar before the Rolex 24 and twice around the clock Endurance Classic one week later. So, don't we all love Townsendville racing and commentary as far as that is concerned. Next topic. This is, this is a lot of topics, so this will be a very long episode if you know what I mean. Prototype sports cars from the 1980s and the 1990s will race on Saturday supporting the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship race and on Sunday ahead of the NTT IndyCar race at Long Beach. Approximately 20 cars and will feature most of the marquee that race GP GTPs heyday such as Ford, Jaguar, Mazda, Nissan, Lola, and Toyota. So that will be a fun weekend. We'll talk about that. Uh, the weekend will also include the Super Drift Challenge, the Stadium Super Trucks, and the Porsche Career Cup North America also at Long Beach. That'll be a busy weekend in Long Beach if you ask me. Jaden Conright doesn't want to be remembered as the first winner of the IMSA Diverse Development Program Scholarship. He wants to be a first in a long of line of recipients who help open the door for to people from all backgrounds interest in pursuing a career in sports car racing. IMSA named Co Conright the recipient of the inaugural Diverse Development Scholarship uh, on uh, January 6th. The 22-year-old from Newark kept We'll have the opportunity to race in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship season this year, so we're definitely looking forward to that. Among 10 finalists selected from the scholarship applicants. So that will be something we'll keep an eye on. So, yeah. Of course, he made his debut last year in the Salem Six Hours at the Glen. Dream for NTE Sport. He qualified third in the GT Daytona class alongside Don Young and Marcus Tala finishing fourth. The trio also placed ninth in the Petit Le Mans to close the season. Conright's uh, championship team will be made in the coming days. However, in addition to becoming the IMSA uh, diverse deal, he has been named a Lamborghini GT3 junior driver for this year. Giorgio Senna uh, Lamborghini head of motorsports is pleased to add Conright to the manufacturer's lineup. So, really looking forward to that. Um... Conrad, we'll see him in the roar before the 24, and then the season will get underway January 29th and 30th at Daytona. Uh, Luis Delatraz, uh, who is the reigning uh, World Endurance LMP2 Clash Champion, 24 hours of Le Mans, uh, Fran Hasberg. And European Le Mans Series champion Luis Delatres have been announced as part of Tower Motorsports lineup for the Rolex 24 Daytona. The Florida-based team confirmed Friday that the two 2021 WRT drivers will team up with reigning LMS LMP2 Pro-Am class champion Ru Andrade and team principal John Ferrano in the number 8 Orca 07 Gibson for the LMP2 for the season opener at Daytona. Angelade is set for the Michelin Endurance Cup. Ferrano and Delatras are full season drivers. So that will be good to see how they will do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Proton will field the second WeatherTech Mercedes GT Daytona Pro, which is something we'll definitely look forward to. Uh, Penske will be in the World Endurance Challenge uh, Championship this year. Signing of Dean Cameron Felipe Nasa. So that will be something really good to see how that will go for them in 24 hours of Le Mans. Uh, the team will run the Porsche Factory LMDH effort under the Porsche Penske Motorsports banner next season in both the World Endurance and the WeatherTech, WeatherTech Championship seasons. Definitely looking forward to that. They won the lap. They won 2019-2020 championships with Cameron and Montoya before Castro Nevis and Ricky Taylor did that in 2020. Um, so we'll see how Team Penske will do in the World Endurance. Uh, looking at uh, a cute little paint scheme uh, by Porsche. Which is a site, so there you go. 
And the greatest story of the day, Robert Wickens will embark a full season in the Michelin Pilot Challenge in the BHA Hyundai. It will be his first race. It'll be his first race in three years and five months after his accident in the NCT IndyCar Series race at Pocono. Uh, he was paralyzed, but he is ready to go. The pilot challenge will kick off Daytona, and then we'll include a home run for Wickens at CTMP on July 1st through the 3rd. The 32-year-old will share the wheel with fellow Canadian Mark Wilkins, who recently named as part of the expansion six-car TCR lineup for Brian Hurd at Auto Sports. So, so yeah, former IndyCar driver ready to take on the deal. So there you go. So that's all of the news and notes in the IMSA report, and we'll have some more in next week's show. Now, let's preview the Roar before the 24. As I stated, there are 61 cars for the um, uh, for the Roar as well as for the Rolex 24 at Daytona. We also have the Michelin Pilot Challenge Roar as well. Um, the uh, in the Weather Tech Sports Car Championship uh, Roar Before 24 is has a qualifier that will set the grid for the Rolex 24 next Saturday. You'll see that coverage at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12.30 Central Time on NBC and also USA Network. And also you can listen to the, uh, rate, the full race on the IMSA Radio Network and radio broadcast. We'll have the uh, full races of the IMSA on the IMSA channel, so that will be something we're definitely looking forward to. So, uh, should be a good one. We also have the uh, the pilot challenge, which is really good. Um, or, or no, the prototype challenge. Excuse me. They will run their first race this weekend. Uh, should be good races, and we'll see how it goes. So now it is time for the first thing we have never done, we haven't done in a while. Made make our uh, keys to the race. The first key is always uh, expect the unexpected. You know the weather could be really uh, interesting as far as um, the race concerned. We don't know what kind what this could do as far as strategy is concerned. It's going to be a bit of unknown as far as that race weekend is concerned at Daytona. Second thing we're definitely going to keep an eye on, and some people would absolutely 100% agree with me, um, got to stay on course. You know, the roar, you know, qualifying is really a key thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, we are hoping qualifying, because qualifying up front is better than starting at the back, because you don't want to get turned around like what we saw uh, to one of the GT cars in at the start last year. Um so we got to make sure uh, these drivers know to make sure to take care of the wheel spin that way there's not any more in that race so far um, so yeah it would be fun lastly for um, for uh, for the keys is uh is and this is the key thing if we have pit stops will it come into play because these drivers will have to make pit stops and these are good practices to to uh get ready for the rolex 24 because if you have a broken suspension you could end up losing a lot of laps and that could be a bad qualifying but, you know, 24 hours, you have a lot of time to make it up. If you're like 10 laps down or so, you can make it up in the in endurance race. Whereas this qualifying race, it is critical, if you know what I mean. The teams that can do that can will win the uh, pole award, which will be a, um, a sprint race. So the teams that can do that will be the teams that will start on the pole for next Saturday's Rolex 24 at Daytona. So we're definitely looking forward to that. We're definitely looking forward to all of the things on the channel. So there you go. So now let's put a close on this show as we get to the final thoughts. What do we take away from the off season as we start the new race season? It's going to be interesting to see how this race is going to play out for the Rolex 24 and also the Roar. It's going to be a very fun uh, race, 
and uh, should be exciting to watch as a fan from a fan's perspective. From a competitor's perspective, you got to make sure that you can last 24 hours without a problem on your car because if you crash in the roar, it's going to be a challenging week for you to get the car repaired and get it ready for the race next Saturday. So these drivers need to take it easy with the uh, cars and hopefully they can have good starting track position for Rolex 24 day on Saturday of next week. So, that's basically all I will say on that. Let's take a look at this week's upcoming uh, PCSRA Awesome Events. This Thursday, uh, we'll be live stream. will be the second episode of the Movie Express. We do hope you will join us for that. It will be a very fun show. Uh, Movie Express, we always talk about movies. Uh... Movies that I've watched uh, from any past weekends or movies I haven't seen in a while. Um, I will rate them from 1 to 10, as always, and get you caught up on all the other news and uh, rumors that are going on. So that's something we're definitely looking forward to. Um, looking forward to that on Thursday. That's a look at this week's upcoming PCS Ray Awesome Events brought to you by Kim K Coach Lines, the official motor coach carrier of the PCS Ray so far. The Oklahoma Highway Safety Office is a proud sponsor of OU Athletics and the IMSA podcast and also this channel all year long and wants to remind you that drinking and driving is deadly and illegal. Together we can end DUI. Visit enduiok.com to learn more so we're definitely looking forward to that want to thank our awesome panelists zachary taylor zachary fitzwater jackie tang alex hawkins tom shores greg rutz nathan orman running the show for us back in our imsa podcast network studios until next week for the rolex 24 at daytona where we'll have the recapping of the qualifying results for the Roar before the 24, and then we preview the 60th annual Rolex 24 at Daytona. But until next week, this is Daniel Vol saying, Boomer Sooner, everybody. PCS Ray fans, thanks for watching today's episode of the IMSA Podcast on the Blue Hedgehog TV. Today's broadcast was brought to you by Del Taco, Home Depot, Love's Travel Stops, Subway, and by Chevrolet. Thanks for joining us for the IMSA Podcast. Copyright 2022 by the International Motorsports Association and Corporates.